Hey everyone, hope y'all are having a good day or a good night. Uh, it's night time for me here. I'm just kind of hanging out and having a beer. If you're drinking tonight, cheers. I've got a good old yingling here, uh, sipping on. Um, but wanted to make this video. I've been thinking about this for a long time and I've talked about it quite a bit on my Twitch streams. But, uh, you know, what the hell is wrong with newer fighting games? I mean, you know, there's a lot of things wrong with them. <laughs> um, I, uh, <clears throat> I grew up in a time in the 90s where, you know, Street Fighter 2 was taking over the world, you know. And Street Fighter only got better from there, you know, well, for the most part. You know, except for maybe the Street Fighter the movie game, but even that game's not, you know, that terrible. It's uh, it's bad, but it's not uh, as bad as a lot of people make it out to be. Um, but anyways, I grew up in a time where Street Fighter 2 ruled the world, and it changed fighting games forever. It changed the arcades forever. It even changed home consoles. You know. Um, you know, Street Fighter 2 was the king, and, um, I just remember I never owned it, but I rented it all the time, uh, me and my friends were always playing this game, and, uh, then, you know, you also had the SNK fighters, like, uh, King of Fighters, and Samurai Showdown, and Fatal Fury, you know, all, all that cool stuff was coming out then you had Mortal Kombat you had Tekken and all that stuff so you know the one thing I don't like about newer fighting games is I do like how they're trying to innovate um, if you notice the newer Mortal Kombat games the the story mode sort of plays out like a movie um, and that's cool I mean I like it but I mean if you play Mortal Kombat 11, you're going to be playing it for like hours just to beat it, you know, and then like every 10 or 15 minutes, you know, after every match, you're going to have another cinematic. And then, you know, all that time you're sitting there watching this or, you know, some people may just get up and go do something else and not even pay attention to it. And then the match actually starts when... You know, they're getting their ass kicked and they're not, they don't even have the controller in their hands, you know. <laughs> I mean, you do have the option to skip it or whatever, but you know what I mean. Some people aren't just going to sit there for that length of time uh, watching the cinematics and everything. <laughs> and, um, you know, recently I got COVID and uh, a couple months ago I had COVID and uh, it took a couple weeks to get over, so... I was pretty behind on uh, playing a lot of the newer fighting games, so during that time, I said, you know what, I'm going to you know, go on Steam and get some of these newer fighting games that I missed out on, <coughs> and a lot of these games are older now, you know, say like Tekken 7, I've never even played it, you know, and it's been out for a long time, so I got Tekken 7, I got uh, Mortal Kombat 11, and uh some other stuff but um you know i just felt like there's there's just something missing in these newer fighting games that we had back in the 90s you know that we had even on home consoles so one of my biggest things is um you know when i was a kid i was probably about seven years old and my mom and my stepdad got me a playstation Christmas and Tekken 3 so I didn't even know what a PlayStation really was at that time because I grew up with a Super Nintendo but they ended up taking my video games away because I wouldn't do my homework or anything else and I was just playing video games all day so they took my video games away for a year or two and um, so I didn't have any access to video game magazines or I, I didn't know anything this was like pre-internet you know probably around I don't know 96 97 something like that 
I'm gonna have a sip of beer. Cheers if you're drinking tonight. You gotta wet the old whistle here, you know. But um, anyways, <laughs> that Christmas uh, I got a PlayStation and Tekken 3, and I had played Tekken 3 in the arcades, and at my at that time it was like my favorite game ever. So. I had no idea that this was on a console. I thought it was only in the arcades, you know? And I was so happy to have Tekken 3. But, nostalgia put aside here. When you look at Tekken 3 on PS1, look at how, for one thing, how many modes it has. It has so many modes, it's unreal. Plus, with those type of games, the incentive and the replay value to keep playing it not it wasn't just you know playing against friends it was playing single player because you play against the CPU and every time you cleared the game you'd unlock a new character you'd unlock a new mode you'd unlock new stages or whatever you know but all of that is gone with newer fighting games and I don't like that I don't like it at all and the reason why is because you can't unlock anything anymore. Everything's behind a paywall. Everything is DLC now, you know. And um, so I'll just give you an example here um, with Tekken 7 because I never played it before. If you haven't played it, I'm going to spoil it for you. So if you don't want to hear the spoilers, just um, fast forward through the video or, you know, watch somebody... Uh, a better YouTuber than me. <laughs> um, but anyways, in Tekken 7, there is no Tekken tournament. In the game, there is no Tekken tournament. So for me, that destroyed the game right there. Because it plays out kind of cinematically uh, in the way that the newer Mortal Kombat's do. But <clears throat> there's no Tekken tournament. And one of my favorite things about Tekken was beating the game with each character and seeing their ending and then having the incentive of unlocking another character or another mode or something, you know, in the meantime. So it was just an awesome experience back then. And we didn't even have online play. This was all, you know, couch co-op. You play it with your friends and kick each other's asses and, you know, talk shit to each other and it was just fun you know it was just really fun uh not that i'm against online play at all but you know it gets kind of boring to me um i'm not the best at fighting games but i'm decent at them um i've got an arcade stick right here beside of me that i use you know specifically for fighting games on pc and nintendo switch and, um, you know, I really have a huge love for fighting games. But it's not just one IP from one company that is doing this. It's like every single fighting game that comes out nowadays has, you know, all these DLC characters, DLC stages, and all this stuff. And it's like, I feel like most of this stuff should be unlockable in the game and it's not just because it's a cash grab thing um you know i'm sure there's certain instances where you know this character is not done yet when they launch the game right and so they have to take time to develop this character and their move set they probably have to have uh, <clears throat> somebody chore choreograph all this stuff you know hooked up to all these wires and all this shit <laughs> to animate this character, right? So I get it. I understand that it takes time to develop all this stuff. But it seems to me like all these companies are just cutting out essential content from the game that should be there in the first place. Um, my real gripe with Tekken 7 is that uh, there is no Tekken tournament and when you beat the game the first time, there's, um, it says that you can, uh, 
basically play different characters endings but when you do it it's not even really an ending it's like you're playing the last it's like you're playing the final stage of the arcade mode and then you watch some like bullshit cinematic but it's not even really an ending you know what i mean it's not like going back and playing the old tekken games on ps1 and stuff like that that's kind of what i'm saying here and with that being said i need a sip of beer because my throat's getting kind of dry But, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm not knocking newer fighting games. I just wish that they were more like the stuff that we had in the 90s. Because I'm all for innovation and them doing different things. But it seems like they had a really great formula for these games back in the day. You know, but even back then, these were arcade games in the beginning and were ported to home consoles it's not like that nowadays like these are console and pc games from the beginning so they have more freedom to do things like this like dlc and all that stuff and i'm not even totally against dlc but it, it just seems like the way these newer fighting games are doing that it's more just a cash grab type of thing it's like you know if you want the ultimate edition of this game it's gonna cost you like what 120 or 150 dollars or whatever it's like why would I pay that much money for DLC characters that should have been in the main game from the get-go you know with that being said there's some phenomenal newer fighting games um, as far as newer games there are some that I haven't played that I really want to, um, such as Guilty Gear Strive. I haven't played it. I've watched a lot of people play it, and it looks awesome. Anything Arc System Works does, I'm pretty much okay with, because I think they're, at this point, the premier fighting game developer. They've developed some of my favorite fighting games in history, uh, besides Capcom, of course. But let's talk about Capcom for a minute. So... Street Fighter 6. <laughs> I am not hyped for this game whatsoever. But when I saw the trailer, I was just like almost disgusted. <laughs> um, that, that's the only way I can describe it. I just I didn't like the vibe of it. I didn't like the feel of it. Um, it seems to me like they literally took the words Street Fighter and just took it literally and ran with that and I, did, I don't like it because for one thing most of these characters are like you know Asian characters you know from Japan China Korea and all over but even though it's called Street Fighter it was more of a tournament thing it's more of a like a gladiator type of thing like these are like the strongest people in the world and they're fighting against each other right so <laughs> they took the street fighter name and literally applied it to the gameplay and the look and the feel itself of the game and that's what i don't like i don't think it works maybe a lot of people nowadays would think that it's good uh, because of the society we live in and how things are um, but i'm not a fan of that anyways so I'm kind of I'm probably the oddball out here but I think other people would agree with what I'm saying about Street Fighter 6 um, I did watch some, some uh, like test streams of it or whatever you call it uh, people actually playing the game and it does look pretty good uh, it does look pretty fluid and everything um, I do like the graffiti art style thing that they do with like uh, the powerful punches and kicks and stuff where it looks like it's graffiti paint like splattering and stuff like that and I love that stuff um, but I just think uh, the rest of the stuff in the game is just not really that interesting to me and I don't like the vibe that it has so I don't really know where I stand on Street Fighter 6 it's still um, it hasn't came out yet I've only seen the trailers and seen 
uh, some early gameplay of it. So maybe it will turn out to be a great game and maybe it'll, you know, reinvigorate the franchise to where it draws more people in. Um, but right now I'm just, I'm not too impressed with what I'm seeing. And you know, on top of that, it's probably going to be uh, a lot of DLC heavy stuff, uh, buying extra characters, buying all this extra stuff, and I just don't like that in these fighting games. You know, I miss being able to, you know, put a game into my PS1 or PS2 or PS3, or whatever, and being able to unlock this stuff because, you know, even if you don't have friends around or if you don't want to play it online, you still have a lot of replay value in this game. And I feel like most of these newer fighting games just don't have that at all. Um, now, I said earlier that, you know, I'm not the best uh, fighting game player by a long shot, but, you know, I do like playing matches online and stuff like that. But um, I think it gets boring after a while, you know? <laughs> it just gets boring to me to play uh, random matches with you know, random people all over the world online. Um, I, I kind of like having a story mode, and these games do have story modes, but they're just not up to par, I guess I should say. Um, I want to see a newer fighting game come out that's more like the, the great 90s fighting games that we have, because I'm of the mindset that the best fighting games came out in the 90s, and I'll stand by that. All the best fighting games came out in the 90s and the early 2000s. And I want to see great fighting games come out again like those. That really, you know, step up the game for fighting games in general. And, you know, make these companies want to do better and make even better games. So, that's what I'm hoping, you know, for the future. Is that we don't just get these, you know same games over and over again with you know another number added at the end of them and the same DLC crap over and over again that's what I want to see you know it's just something that's better than that so let's hope um, there's a lot of newer fighting games I haven't played that I want to uh, you know King of Fighters 15 Guilty Gear Strive uh, stuff like that I really want to play those um, I know that um, there's always people complaining about the net code or whatever <clears throat> and the matchmaking and stuff so I don't really know because I'm not that much of an online player like I said I, I kind of like to play single player or couch co-op that's my type of thing um, and I'm sure even you know people in the smash community could appreciate that as well because that's one thing about smash is um, it's not really my type of fighting game because I like the Street Fighter and SNK type of controls of the special moves and everything. So Smash Brothers is a lot different from that. And I do love Smash Brothers, but I'm not a pro at it. Like I'd have to play for like hundreds of hours to get, you know, pro level and be playing in these tournaments and all that stuff. And I just don't have the time to, you know, put into that. And if I was going to do it, I'd put it into a game like Street Fighter or, you know, one of those type of games. Or even like Dragon Ball Fighters, for instance, made by Arc System Works, which I mentioned earlier. A uh, phenomenal game. But even that game uh, has its problems. And there was a ton of DLC and stuff like that in there. You can't really unlock uh, any characters as far as I know. So... You know, it's kind of the same way, but it is a really good game. So, I don't know. You kind of have both sides of it. But, um, I guess, you know, for right now, that's really all I wanted to say about this topic. But, if you have any opinions on it, feel free to comment. I'll respond to you. I definitely want to hear other people's opinions on this, because I know I'm not the only one. Um, <clears throat> even on my Twitch streams, we talk about this type of stuff a lot. Uh, about how, how everything is going to uh, games as a service type of market and I, I just really don't like it and um, you know I'm more of a retro gamer anyways and the more I see uh, games in the future and how everything is 
I feel like it propels me backwards to keep going retro because I still feel like it's better uh, than a lot of newer stuff we have coming out, which is unfortunate because, you know, I want to be excited about new games and I want to be, you know, playing these newer games and really genuinely having fun with it and, and you know, feel like I'm getting my money's worth out of these type of games, but uh, so far I don't. I just don't feel it at all. So, uh, yeah, that's why this channel is retro. And uh, the point that I made earlier, I still stand by. Uh, I still think the best fighting games were made in the 90s and the early 2000s, and I'll always stand by that. Unless these companies want to step up their game and uh, make something better than that. So that's what I'm looking forward to, and hopefully we'll all see the day that that happens so let me know what you think in the comments i uh, really like to hear your opinions and i'll see you next time guys uh, look forward to another video here soon i'll be doing more conversational type of videos like this and you know just talking about stuff that i want to see happen or just my opinions on uh games and stuff in general so have a good night, guys. I will see you next time.